We don't have quite the bounce on our single sideband anymore. So we we're hoping that that we could be heard. Um, we had brought some copper with us and I don't think it's enough still. Um, we're thinking what we might wanna do is run some copper uh, down onto one of our keel bolts and use our keel as the bounce since we no longer have the copper. But we went from having too much to not enough <laughs> uh -huh. after taking all that off of our bottom, off the bottom of Norna. We used to reach all the way across the Atlantic when we talked to Herge Hildem Herb Hilgenberg. Um, we actually talked to him all the way across the Atlantic. Uh, we're picking up good. Like we picked up the Canary Islands the other night which was kind of cool. We were listening in on a ham radio station and could hear uh, the canaries, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, we're uh, now listening in on the cruise harbor's net. Not picking up too good this morning. The, I don't know, propagation isn't too good today. One lady we're not hearing. I don't know where she's at. She's, she's not, everyone else is putting out good. She, the lady running the net's not putting out very good. Yeah. It's funny we hear the same names. <laughs> trying. <laughs> I guess we got to get more copper. He nice. <laughs> said, should I put it to the cast iron pan? <laughs> Maybe. We got heard by somebody locally. Yeah. Second Sally. They, they hear us every time. It's only around the corner though. They're in Swan's Island. So we're not putting out farther than around the corner. But at least we know we're putting out. Now we just need to figure out what the heck's going on. <laughs> we need more ground. Cable hooked on there. Maybe if I run it to try to get it on that keel bolt under there. Because it it's, will reach. It needs to be thicker though. It needs to be wider, but I mean... <laughs> I guess I'm mad. <laughs> okay, anyway. So, yeah. No, it's it's okay. It's okay. It was kind of funny actually. <laughs> Secret spot, doo da doo da. We're not gonna tell what the secret spot is because this is gonna be our playground. All we can tell you is Isle Hose over there. And 
over there. There's a cave. And over here is Norma. Sand. Sand in Maine. And rocks. Heck yeah. My other favorite part of the beaches around here is not only do you have this beautiful beach, but you have like wild roses that just grow wild on the beach. I mean, just look at that. Wild roses everywhere. And you get peas that grow also. Mm, I love the smell of the wild roses though. Heading to Campbell Island. Norna is safely anchored. Anchor is holding excellent. No worries about the anchor anymore. Of course, never know, but you know. Yeah, I know it. The sails covers in. Taking the day off of sailing to go exploring. There is a couple of people camping on the island. So we will try to politely dock, <laughs> beach, whatever, and Spilly can walk the whole perimeter of Campbell Island, so that's what we're going to do, and walk Layla. Layla approves of the cookies. That I made. Give her a teeny tiny taste. Some cookies that I'm baking right now in the oven, in the lovely oven. Garney. Sailing. <laughs> yeah. Yay. That's awesome. Let's see how we're looking. Here. Six knots. Nice. What you doing, Carney? <laughs> nice breeze today. We're just sailing along here easily. I mean, it's not a real tight rig. Everything kind of just loosey-goosey, but it works.
not a bad view either. We're just heading around to our, uh, where we keep the VW bus so we can go get groceries. We still got food, but we're running low on propane and getting a little low on water. We could use some food too to make things, you know, interesting. And uh, it's fun to go for a little ride in the bus once in a while and land love it. There's some thunderstorms maybe this afternoon, so we thought we'd head out a little early today. But usually they don't make it over here, but last night there was one that came really close. And it was kind of a nasty one. Which, uh, I don't know, it's been pretty warm here. I think it's supposed to cool off, but it's been pretty warm. And I think that's what generates those thunderstorms. See if I can get a couple of different nice sailing views here. I gotta do something with these jack lines. Not super happy. I, it, it doesn't really need them even here. It needs it more back back here. So I might have to run one more one more jack line. I trust Courtney pretty good climbing up here on this one. Huh? That topping looks a little tight. There's a lot guy down. These reef points look like they're holding, but they're not. This, this leech is pretty tight on this sail. Not the prettiest cut mainsail in the world, but you know, it's been a good sail, strong. bit of a hooking. I guess that's pushing that way and these are pulling that way so she kind of goes. But I think that's kind of normal. And also with the yard there it looks like it, it gives it and I start tapering it right about there too. mass seems really has held up well we did a bird's beak construction on it and it sure seems to be lasting pretty good across the Atlantic twice and all kinds of fun sails we got all kinds of boats heading out sailing this morning how you doing Courtney it's like you got a bunch of sailboats heading this way they're gonna be like, whoa, what's that dog? So pretty. I think oh. <laughs> Doing a good job there, Miss Captain Courtney. It's awesome. It's a good sail. Yeah, this is nice. It's really good. So comfortable, it's really Yeah. It's good. I feel good. <laughs> All right. 